Candidates are working hard to meet as many voters as possible. Sometimes the best way to do that is to knock on their doors. Renee Cooper took a hike on the campaign trail and tells us one thing the candidates agree on. I think door to door is the most effective and then, you know, maybe mailings or other kinds of co communications, but door to door is clearly the most effective. It's personal. It's a way for people to see a face and match it to a name on the ballot. Brandy Jude and Mike Dwyer are running against each other for an opening in the state Senate. They are both first time candidates, so grassroots campaigning is the place to start. However, it isn't easy. I talked to a 20 year state house representative, Larry Clemine, earlier, who says that face to face interaction is an effective way to campaign, but it's hard to know just the right time to knock on people's doors. And even when you do, about a third of the residents actually answer. To stop and say hello and make it quick, they might not mind it so much, but a lot of people I think are not as open to having people come to their doors for, for any reason. And the biggest expense in canvassing is not monetary, it's time. I want uh, legislators who are gonna go to work when they get elected, and so, you know, door to door is work. I wish I bought a Fitbit, <laughs> I really do. The other week I was keeping track of it over 4th of July week and from that Saturday to that Thursday I had knocked over 300 doors. In total, there are about 14,000 doorsteps to reach in District 47 before November. Renee Cooper, KX News. Dwyer told us that between him and the two Republicans serving the district in the House, they reached each doorstep in District 47 before the primary. He plans to cover the whole district solo starting in September. Jude has been door knocking for a couple months now and says she won't stop until Election Day. Campaign donations to the two U.S. House candidates is up. Both campaigns have released numbers from second quarter donations. Democrat Max